So yes, I'm 14 years old, and all of you look really old to me. <laughs> My parents are pretty old. They're in their 40s now. Yeah, they're always telling me how easy I have it. They're like, oh, your generation's great. You don't know how hard it was to be a kid when we were kids. Why can't you be more like we were? Maybe because most of the crap you did when you were kids is illegal now. <laughs> I cannot walk to 7-Eleven and buy my grandparents cigarettes. <laughs> I am not allowed to hitchhike. I can't drink from a garden hose. I can't play with lawn darts, which were banned in 1988. I have my own set of challenges. When I ride my bike, I have to wear half a bowling ball on my head because safety's a thing now. I didn't have an iPhone my whole life, you know. For many years, I had to use a flip phone. You had to press a button three times to type the letter C. The sip of my heart. When my parents were kids, when they left the house, it was just, all right, see ya, be back by dark, don't get abducted, molested, or eaten, and have fun. <laughs> but if I want to go anywhere, I have to carry a whistle and a binder of all nearby registered sex offenders. <laughs> and it's, it's really thick, lots of gym teachers and priests. I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Guys, I was, that was just a joke. The priests aren't registered. Just relocated. Are you enjoying yourself, sir? Are you having a, are you having a good time? What's your name? Tim. Tim, do you know what I have to do when I get home, Tim? <laughs> Write a paper for school. I'm going to my first year of high school. I'm hoping it'll be different than my middle school experience, which is full of bullying, cliques, and gossip, mostly from the teachers. <laughs> The teachers are no better than the students, maybe even worse. They always act like NFL coaches on the sidelines using folders to cover their mouths as they talk crap about the students. Wow. Yo, see Patty over there? That little kid's ass reminded me that I forgot to sign the homework yesterday as I was about to dismiss the class. So I doubled it. The hell is her problem? Oh my God, and Kyle, I don't know what I was doing in your class, but in mine, he's just bombing. I want to fail him, you know, just smack him in the face with a big fat F. But then I'll have to put up with his crap for a whole nother year. Oh, Spencer, nice kid, but his parents, ugh. I keep getting eight paragraph emails from them telling him I'm not giving him the credit he deserves. Well, maybe if his parents would stop telling him he's good at everything, he wouldn't cry like a little bitch every time I gave him a B minus. What are you looking at, Kyle? Get back to work. Dioramas don't make themselves. The lunchroom is known for its notorious bullying. You know, the big guys always shoving their way to the front of the line, taking the last smoothie from you, so they can go back to grading papers. <laughs> you know what grinds my gears, Tim? Tests. I do not like tests. I'm not very good at studying. I'm not what you would call an academic test taker. Uh, I'm not sure why. I usually give myself a full five minutes to study before the test. Um, thank you. Um, that's not my fault, though. It's, it's the teacher's fault. They always tell you, challenge yourself. So I challenge myself to see how long I can put off studying. Challenge accepted. I know I'm probably not as responsible as Tim here, who never procrastinates, because adults don't do that. Right, Tim? All right, thank you guys. Uh, before I leave, since parting is such sweet sorrow, I'd like to uh, give you a little snippet from uh, my favorite Arthur, Willie Shakespeare. Don't you forget about me. Don't, 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 don't. Don't you forget about me as I walk on by.
Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>